Greetings back fans, especially those that like Auric XL21s. So in a previous video, you saw this machine get completely refurbished, especially the motor with new bearings. So we're going to do four tests today on the airflow and suction box. We're going to do two tests with the HEPA bag in, and it's the factory um, recommended Auric HEPA bag, and then we're going to take the HEPA bag out. So I've got my current meter set up here and uh, also my airflow gauge. So let's go ahead and start on low speed. So on low speed, looks like it's pulling about 2.51 amps, and that's at 121 volts under load. And with the conversion factor in there, we are at 68.3 CFM, uh, bag in, HEPA bag in. So let's try high speed now. <laughs> speed pulled 3.352 amps and if I do the calculation here for airflow we are at 84.2 CFM and that is really close uh, to what Blackheart on Vacuum Land and Evil Clowns for you on YouTube managed to get on his machine. I think he was just slightly over 85. So this machine, uh, as uh, terrible as it actually still looks, uh, gets really, really close to uh, what he got. So that's fantastic. Okay, so I'm going to do a suction test, but I'm just going to let you know that Oryx in general, because of their felt seals and other various things, just don't really do all that much suction at the cleaner head. Now let's go ahead and take the bag out and redo the test and we'll see exactly how much a factory auric bag actually sucks down in CFM. And we'll do low speed first. <laughs> out 
out at 2638 and we got 68.8 so this bag does not use a whole lot of CFM so it really keeps that air flowing all right let's see what kind of improvement we get we go to high speed <laughs> There's a few CFM. There, there's probably a good three some odd CFM that uh, this actually uses. But obviously, you know, it's a very thick bag and uh, it filters very well. It's fully heather rated. So how about now I tear down and set up for suction tests. Okay, bag's back in and I'll put it on low to start out with. I think I saw about 10 inches of nozzle suction on low and about 14 inches on high. So the airflow with this machine is actually pretty good uh, considering it's so low power, you know, three and a half amps or so uh, maximum peak usage, uh, probably on carpet. And uh, suction, eh, well, not so much. All right, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.